So what's the future of search? Um, I think there's five big trends going on at the moment in SEO. Um, there's real-time search, so the speed at which content is getting indexed and ranked is happening much, much quicker. So you need to look at that, be looking at Twitter, be looking at the websites which trigger real-time search. There's personalised search, so potentially no two web searchers are getting the same search results at any one point in time. So you need to think about how you can get yourself, um, when that first vanilla set of results are served, how you can um, make yourself present then, so you benefit further down the line. So that's personalised real time. It's local search. Um, most businesses operate within a relatively small geographic area. Um, the, as soon as you put a location in a keyword term, it's almost certain you'll get a Google Map there. Those Google Maps are triggered on a completely different, not well, quite different algorithm to the normal search results. And the, you can have the situation now where previously you were kind of doing all your SEO, your number one, but you're still getting no clicks because there's five websites yeah. on the map results. So yeah. you need to be looking at those. You've then got search, social search. Um, I hate the word. I think most people misuse it. But um, my concept is, is that social factors are going to start becoming ranking factors. So the number of people who retweet a piece of content, the more likely it is to rank. That might not be happening now, but if we're talking about the future of search, I think it's something that is a clear signal that's going to be sent as soon as Twitter's bought by someone potentially off the back of that. And the final one is micro formats. They've been around for years. Um, I always thought they were a bit geeky and didn't really matter. But you're starting to see what are known as rich snippets now. So if you search for someone's name in Google and their LinkedIn profile pops up, there's an extra line there. So they've got the URL, the title tag, two lines of meta descriptions, and an additional line of content there where it'll say who they work for, what their job title is. And you can do it for another thing as well. If you put like in Kodak ZIA review, right? So any product review, some of those results have stars. So you get an additional line that shows the stars that that review, when you click and see it, um, has. So that's, imagine on a search results, all of them look exactly the same, but yours has got stars there, or yours has got more information than the other ones. That's a real missed opportunity for most people not to take advantage of. So yeah, they would be you know, my future trends. Some of them are already happening, but over the next year, they're going to be the main sort of buzz topics, I would have thought. Thank you very much.